again and congratulations, you made it to our last video for this week. Today we're going to work on completing a sentence. Today we're going to work on completing a, a sentence. Okay, so let's think about how we can complete a sentence. We know that a sentence is a group of words that has at least one subject and at least one predicate. It has at least one and one at least one subject and at least one predicate. Okay, we know what our subject is by now and we know what our predicates are. So we just have to identify if we see at least one of those, one or the other, in a sentence. Let's do some practice. Our practice for today says, Miss Samuel and her friend Sammy ate dinner together. One more time. Miss Samuel and her friend Sammy ate dinner together. Hmm. Thinking about this, do I see at least one subject? At least one. Do we see at least one subject? Thumbs up if you see one subject. Thumbs down. Thumbs up if you see at least one predicate. Thumbs up if you see at least one predicate. Okay, so I know that I'm having trouble figuring out the subject. Miss Samuel and her friend Sammy ate dinner together. Hmm. I know this subject is a noun that does the action. So I know the subject can be Miss Samuel and her friend Sammy. So I'm gonna circle, I'm just gonna circle Miss Samuel for now. And then I know that the predicate starts with a verb, and I know I see a verb, they're eating. So it says ate dinner together. And that tells us what the subjects are doing. So Miss Samuel and her friend Sammy ate dinner together. So I'm gonna underline that predicate. Excellent. Now, these one, two, three, four, five, Five sentences are your homework for today. You're going to figure out and identify if it's a complete sentence. Listen to my directions carefully. If it is a complete sentence, once you read through it and you write it down on your paper for homework, I want you to give it a check. If it is not a complete sentence, I want you to give it an X. And then I want you to figure out how you can complete it. So the first time, let's, let's start with this one. The second sentence, it says, my brother, period. My brother, period. Is that a complete sentence? Does it have a subject? It has a subject, at least one subject, but is it complete? Does it have at least one predicate? I see that it has a subject, but it doesn't have a predicate. So I know that that's not a complete sentence. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that an X. Next, that means I'm going to rewrite it. How can I rewrite these, this sentence? Here, I'm gonna get a different marker so that we can see. So I know that it's not a complete sentence, it just says my brother. So I'm gonna take my marker, or pencil, whatever you have, and I might write, my brother runs fast. So now I know that I have my subject, my brother is still there, and I know that I have my predicate, runs fast, because it's telling me, it's the act that tells me what the subject is doing. So I want you for homework to do these one, two, three, four, five sentences. You're going to read the sentence, you're gonna write it down, you're gonna give it a check if it is a full, if it's a complete sentence, and then you're gonna move on to the next one. If it's not a complete sentence, you're gonna give it an X, and then you're gonna complete that sentence. So make sure, think about it. Think about how we can identify complete sentences. Does it have a subject? Does it have a predicate? You can zoom in if you can't see the sentences. This is your homework for tonight. I expect to see five beautiful sentences with either a check or an X. If it has an X, I want you to complete that sentence. I cannot wait to see all of the beautiful and hard work that we've been doing on subjects and predicates combined.